Hey guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner. And today I do have something really uh, serious to talk about, so uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll get started. Alright guys, uh, so as you know, uh, for those of you that have been subscribed to my channel for quite some time, um, you know we're building the cricket here and uh, it's looking really good. I'm really happy with uh, a lot of it, what's coming out on this. Uh, it's, it's coming together really nice, uh, but there's something serious that I kind of want to talk about and um, when you guys are watching the videos, uh, I'm usually really um, enthusiastic about building this and uh, you know, I'm, I, I almost every day I'm 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 just I'm excited to work on this and um, this weekend was kind of different um, you know the the electronic portion of this build has been it's been challenging at times uh, those of you that have been building uh, airplanes probably realize the electronics and the wiring and all that fun stuff uh, it is not fun uh, it's uh, very time consuming and it starts to wear on you and kind of takes away a lot of your motivation. Um, mostly when things aren't going the way they're supposed to be. Um, and, you know, I want to make sure that I share some light on that because um, those of you that have been building airplanes probably know that eventually you hit this wall where. You're moving along really nicely and you're happy with it um, and then things just aren't going together the way you are expecting them to. Uh, things aren't working out the way that maybe was in your head how you visualized it and that was kind of how things have been going right now and you know you gotta you kind of reach a point where you gotta take a break and step back and uh, that's what I did this weekend so not much happened I mean I started to work on it and I ended up just pulling it all apart because I wasn't happy with any of it um, so for instance my uh, switch panel uh, nothing looked right on here um, I'm sure it would have worked fine how it was laid out but this is just not the quality that I was hoping for with this. And every time I thought I was getting somewhere, I then looked back at it and said, whoa, wait, I forgot this or I forgot that. And now what am I going to do with this? So so I took it all apart. Um, along with many other parts underneath the front skin. You know, there's a lot of thought that needs to be put in. It's not just throw it together and say we're good to go and go fly it. Uh, there's a lot of thought that needs to go into putting together the, um, you know, the, the wiring and how things are going to be wired up and then you got to think about it in a safety standpoint in regards to, you know, what if something, you know, what if something shorts out over here? How is it going to affect this section? Will I still have the engine running? And Jan has a good uh, system in there with the 30 amp fuse. Um, then I was going to put the fuse behind the panel and then I thought, well, wait a second, what if I lose that fuse and now my avionics don't work, now my uh, lights aren't working, now I can't make a radio call. Um, you start running into an issue where it's a downward trend from that point and if I'm an IFR, which this airplane is going to be uh, certified for IFR conditions, uh, I don't want to be stuck in a cloud with no radio, no way of talking to anybody. So um, I, I was moving along with the installation of everything and I thought about it and stopped and said this isn't going to be a safe situation if I'm in an IFR situation if I'm in IFR conditions that is so um, 
I went back to the drawing board and I, I'll, I'll put this on the screen somewhere because I'm zoomed out pretty far here. Um, so there should be space, but I had to go back and, and sit and redraw out my whole plan for my wire and for my electrical. Um, and I think I've now gotten to a point where I'm, I'm a little bit better, I'm a little bit happier with how that's laid out and then also with switches. So um, what I what I think I've decided at this point is this is going to be scrapped. Um, I'm going to order from Viking their panel, uh, a switch panel for the center console, without all the switches and everything, just the panel itself. Um, and I think that's going to be useful because it laid out uh, a little bit better in regards to how the switches will lay out inside on that panel and then I can use that as a template to make the rest of them get them all straight. Um, I've also thought about removing some of the circuit breakers um, because the panel was becoming overwhelmed with circuit breakers which don't get me wrong we need those um, I could have put more fuses in, but then because my aircraft is going to be set up for IFR condition flying as well, I do not need any of those things to go and cause more problems down the line. So um, after thinking about it, thinking about it, drawing it out over and over again, laying it, everything out, I now have four, uh, I'm sorry, three positive buses now that are each one, each one of them is got its own main breaker um, and then that then from those buses they go down to individual circuit breakers and some of the switches are actually going to be toggle circuit breakers instead of a switch and a circuit breaker I'm trying to save space on the panel, trying to clean it up some, but it, it's going to clean it up a little bit more, I'm hoping, and before I start drilling any holes, I want to start laying things out in the correct spacing on it and take my time a little bit. So uh, this week, nothing really was completed. I was really wanting to get the engine running, but I'm just not ready, um, and I don't want to force anything uh, to the next step because in the end of the day I have to be happy with this and the airplane also has to be safe so I stopped and took a step back and rethought my process on how this wiring is going to go um, and next week we'll kind of dive a little bit more into it. I'm hoping that some of the uh, other parts that I just ordered um, will be here and we can then take a step. I'm going to clean up my bench here and we'll lay everything out and uh, take a look at it. I want to share with you guys the, I mean there's ups and downs to this building process. This is one of the down ones um, where I just I've, I've lost some motivation here uh, on this and it's crazy that it can happen that fast. All week I was excited about getting out here and getting some work done and then as soon as I got out here and started playing with it and started messing with all the components I needed to work with, it just went the other direction. So uh, that's where I'm at right now. I know this wasn't a fun video, guys, uh, but I appreciate you guys taking the time and, uh, and watching. And uh, like I said, just uh, I wanted to share the uh, you know all aspects of the of this build. Uh, it's 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 a challenge sometimes. These are all parts things that I haven't done before. I mean, building an airframe, you know, do it with model airplanes. It's very similar. It's just bigger. Um, but trying to get things in there the way that they should be in there so that they're safe is very important. 
not really sure how to end this video, so, uh, uh, yeah, that's where we are, so, keep building, keep flying, guys, and, uh, catch you on the next video. We'll hopefully get some more work done.